What is going on Adventure Nation? We are at this beautiful farm market somewhere around York, Pennsylvania uh, between York and Lancaster and this is where we spent the night. It was absolutely amazing but today we're heading over to play with the the Amish and then we're heading down to play with traffic in Philly. This is the motorhome experiment. This tour was great and we love 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 this specific place. We could stay here for a week. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah if, they, if they said we could stay for a week we'd be in but check this out like you're on this beautiful farm you can see the trees over here this is an orchard they've got the corn back here they're gonna do a corn maze and they're gonna do a corn maze here this year they're doing a cornucopia and so it's gonna be a, a horn of plenty thing they've got a thing here so you can do an outdoor event of some kind here the grounds are impeccable we are not near any highways near any cell towers near anything and it is Very just quiet. super quiet, Very quiet uh, but we are close enough to cell towers to get signal so that's a good thing <laughs> but just absolutely spectacular and tonight it's gonna be a little bit different, different. it's gonna be more like this <laughs> this is the park and ride here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're only a few miles from downtown Philly and we're gonna be spending the next couple nights here. It's a little weird, but it looks totally safe. It's we're behind- A means to an end. I yeah, mean, it's a means to an end and we're behind gates and we're behind fences and Border Patrol and Customs is, is right yeah. there. Be before we get into all that, I guess you guys need to know how we got here. So we'll let you go back to uh, wherever we were in Pennsylvania, I can't remember where it was. Back to the farm market, you, you guys go ahead. <laughs> Flinchbaugh's Farm Market, you were awesome to us. Thank you, Julie, for hosting us, Julie and her family. And we appreciate Christy inside as well for being so nice and getting us set up and mm -hmm. everything we need. Lorena, this is freaking you out driving on the grass, isn't it? Not anymore, <laughs> I got used to it. And for people wondering why, it's because being from Las Vegas, Grass is a premium thing to have. Yeah. And if you drive on it or just park a little bit on it, then the grass dies in that spot. It's just so hard to make it grow again. Here it's like they don't care. You just park on the grass, it will regrow. Yeah, it'll it'll come back. Just an incredible overnight. I, I really enjoyed that and yeah, it would be um, really cool to be able to stay longer. So it's actually Flinchbaugh's Orchard and Farm Market. They, they're fresh veggies and stuff. We had a great dinner last night using some of their stuff. And again, that's what that stuff is all about. Yeah, there it is. And yeah, check that place out. So I guess this is like a thing. It's not the only one in the world. There's a few in the world. Is there anyone behind us? Unfortunately, the shoe house is closed today and we can't go in. So we're just doing a little slow drive-by for you guys. Check that place out. How cool is that? And you thought the little old lady who lived in a shoe was a myth. Nope, she lived right there. And then of course now we're driving over the highway and now we're driving here where we'll never be able to turn around anywhere. <laughs> we are, we are. Every now and then you gotta get on these really busy roads and check them out. You know, some they're not fun to drive, a lot of traffic, but you know, sometimes you have to do it. I don't like driving in this traffic as much as the next guy, but you know, I'll sacrifice for the trip. I just hope this has an exit. If this does not have an exit to another road, my navigator might get fired today. Are we going into somebody's farm? This 
<laughs> oh, this is awesome. So that was Pleasant Valley Road. I don't really think that I would classify that as a road. Or pleasant. Or, <laughs> that was kind of pleasant. I, I will give it that, it was kind of pleasant. Shaky. <laughs> and now we're on Cemetery Lane. I why don't know why they would call this that. I think we got from the road and it dumped us into a cemetery is what I think happened. And right now all these people are looking out their front windows going, oh look, another tourist got lost. Hi there. <laughs> yeah, like, oh look, another motor coach went to see the shoe house. <laughs> I don't care who you are right there, that was awesome. That was cool. No, I because like, it came no, out because all right. I yes, but I yeah. thought we were gonna just arrive to a farm and that was gonna be it. And then we <laughs> have to turn around in their yard. That was cool though. We came 462 east across out of the York area where we stayed last night into Lancaster. And we were gonna come across 30 and drop in, but we thought it'd be nice to drive through the middle of Lancaster, see the town and everything. Don't do that. It's not a great place to drive an RV. It was a wee bit tight. It's a lot tight. A lot tight, so don't do that. Just. If you're coming that way from York, drive 30 over. You can jump off on 340 and head up this way and uh, into Amish country. So much better way to go than to try and drive through there. Now we are in Amish country, but those are tourists doing buggy rides. No bus parking. For sure. Now we could park right along here. No buses. We are here at a place called Plain and Fancy Farms, and it's about the Amish experience. And Lorraine is in buying tickets. I'm gonna move the RV over to a lot on the other side that has bus and RV parking. Yeah, we kind of blew by the parking lot. Didn't see that they were both the same businesses. And we came in and thought that this was where we needed to park and it's not. So, no big deal. I hope this guy isn't gonna be too long because I'm not gonna fit through there. All right, they have plenty of parking here for RVs. Cool. I just decided to pull in and then we'll just back out when we're ready to go. All right, we've done the theater film about Jacob and now we're gonna go check out this house about the Amish. Should be neat. Probably like you did when you were a kid. Yeah. Hey, I had to go to school. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And that's what the Amish do. Mm -hmm. On the wall. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Or in New York. Oh, I bet. Uh, anything you like, and they do shop like crazy. They're as bad as you ladies are. <laughs> propane stove, propane refrigerator, 
Above the table is a battery operated light. They do have buggy rides here as well, so you can take a buggy ride. But we're looking at this highway or roadway that runs along here. And we're not too sure about whether we want to take a buggy ride out on that road. So when you pull into the farm here, there is coach RV and trailer parking and it's right where the horses are. You come into the lot over there, go in between the barn and the other barn and then come up in here and they have you know, a dozen spaces or so where you can park, so it's pretty nice. The Amish experience here was pretty cool. Informative. Very informative. We do stuff like this because we want to know. We want to understand other cultures. We want to learn about other cultures and the way people think and why they do what they do because I think being informed and having a better understanding of how people live their lives and for what reasons they live their lives that way is very important for all of us being able to live together peaceably. So always up for this kind of stuff. It was very, very cool. And uh, I know for sure that I don't think that I'll be becoming Amish anytime soon. But it was surprising that they have a lot of the more conveniences. They just right. find a way to make it happen. Yeah, the, the, like I was under the impression there was no electrical appliances at all. That's not the case. They just don't want any connection to the outside world. So there's no power wires, power lines coming into their house. But they have battery power and they have uh, diesel generator power and, and stuff like that. So pretty cool. And now we're heading down the road to the Country Kettle. Yeah. A place called the Country Kettle where we're going to look at some food. I know some of you married guys might not know what this is, but look what we found. Intercourse. And welcome to Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Where are we going on? Like Left? No, keep going straight. Okay. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I expect to see. I have no idea where we are or what we're doing here. So take it away, Lori. <laughs> what are we doing here? What is this? Um, it's just a series of shops and a lot of them are Amish based, Amish products and stuff like that. You can tell. Okay. They have a boogie ride to... The Kitchen Kettle Village is what it's called. And we'll find out here in just a sec. Oh, of course that one is not Amish based, since that's a chain. Not made by the Amish. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this place is pretty cool. Okay, this place is called the Jam and Relish Kitchen, and you're allowed to, Lori's eating, so she's, you just go around and you can sample everything, it's amazing. It's so so what have you got? This is pineapple salsa. All right. Wow, pineapple salsa, good stuff. All right, what else, let's try more. Blueberry preserves. Pepper jam. Pepper jam. Put a little cracker. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna have lunch right here. This is awesome. All right, this place is absolutely ridiculous. Lori, I need your help. I can't eat and hold a camera too. So Lori is gonna have to feed me. Oh, see now they have pickles too. These are called uh, kicking pickles. Wow, that's pickles with a little bit of spice to them. Where are you? We're taking one. I guess we're buying one. That's why they let you taste it because you gotta take this stuff home. Oh, corn salsa. Come here, Lori. Here, let's try this. Let's try this. I can't do this with one hand, so. Oh, corn salsa. Awesome. It's better than the pineapple salsa. Uh, you know what? I think it is better than the pineapple. I might have to grab a can. I gotta stop eating this stuff because I'm gonna want to grab a can or everything because I'm hungry. <laughs> so. Yeah. So come and check it out. Check it out because 
It's awesome. So you can come over here to the fruit salsas. Look, you got peach, got pineapple, there's mango, roasted corn over there. This lady here is getting the mango. How's the mango? Come on, let us, let us hear it. Oh, mango, thumbs up there on the mango sauce. See, we've got lime cilantro salsa, orange salsa, zesty, mild corn. We're in. This stuff here is squirrel flavored. I don't think I'll be trying that. We really had no intention of shopping in here, but after our first taste, uh, we were done. Now, what I couldn't show you guys in there was the fact that this was being made by all Amish women in the back kitchen, and it's all made, bottled right there with local ingredients, so it was really cool, but they do not allow you to take any pictures yeah. or videos. The they Amish people don't huge like it. sign that says no photos, so yeah, and they were paying attention. <laughs> and I really wanted to like sneak something, but I wanted to respect that from them. Uh, it, it's something to do with, I think they think that the camera or video captures their soul, so. Uh, we will respect that and just tell you guys that you should check it out when you get around Lancaster, PA. It was very cool. And then, of course, $35 later, we're not shopping. But what we do is we do try to, we, we don't buy a lot of souvenirs. What we do try to do is buy something consumable. that's consumable, consumable, consumable something that's souvenir. edible. Like, for example, when we went to Charleston, I got okra chips. So they were from there, from a local farm and all that. We and got, the okra chips were good. And we got local tea, too. Yep. Uh, right now, Still we drinking got, tea from Charleston? Yeah, we got pickled spices right now and a dessert that is from here, too. So it's all consumable. So we still try to buy something from the place and... Yeah, just no tchotchke type uh, souvenirs. It's always no usually it, consumable. So let's check the rest of this place out. Okay, Lorena. Yes. We're gonna go from the peaceful rolling hills of Pennsylvania into the hustle and bustle of Philadelphia. Are you ready for that? Yes. All right, cool. Are you ready for that? You're no. the one that has to drive. Right? No, I am not ready for that. That I am not ready for. That is quite the view down into there. And again, we have somebody, we have people question, hey, do we back up the toe and dolly? Yep, especially in a place like this, don't have much of a choice because we nosed in here and I think going down there would be a mistake. What do you think? Yeah, we've made it to Philadelphia, or it's the Philadelphia area anyways. We've got about 18 miles to go, which is going to be about an hour to an hour and a half by the looks of it. I've only been out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania and Amish country for 30 minutes and I'm already missing it. I had to pee really bad, so we had to switch drivers quick. We have a much better looking driver now. Yeah, I don't like this though. You don't like this? I'm gonna have to go a little bit slower before we can switch back. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, much better. So we wound up doing a whole lot more today than we originally planned, 
but it was amazing. Lancaster area with the Amish and stuff was really cool. And we learned a lot more about that culture, which was pretty cool. Played in Philly traffic a little bit, which wasn't great. Just before we finish the video, uh, we're gonna rate what we did today. Lancaster, more like the Amish experience, what we did today is we weren't expecting too much really because at the end of the day it's a tourist attraction you're not really going into an amish home it's just a recreation of how they live right so it's an attraction i think it was very informative so i will rate it as in if in the area if you're around there go and do it it was not yeah. that expensive yeah and it was not too expensive it was uh if you're gonna just do the tour of the house it's 15 dollars uh we package it with, a, uh, with movie. a movie to understand more about the religion and what they think and all that so that was twenty dollars per person for the movie and the home mm -hmm. and they also have a farm tour a bus tour where they take you to see the farms and make a stop and in, in a buggy they take you out in an amish yeah. buggy which is cool uh in an amish farm and all that stuff no they have a bus tour and then oh they, they do have the, a bus tour as well they yeah. have the yeah. buggy uh rides that they're like 10 bucks so they have a lot of different options and we loved it. I mean, yeah, I thought I thought it was really it. cool, but I do say I do think it's it's maybe a two. It's a yeah, it's if you're in the area. area. I don't know if I day trip into there for that, but uh, maybe. But uh, very very cool. It was it was neat to learn about the culture and why they do what they do and how they do what they do, and uh, I, I thought it was pretty yeah, interesting. I think so too. Cool. So if it's your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video. And if we survive the night here, we'll see you again soon in another video. Bye hey now. Guys. Oh, and by the way, they're back. They are. <laughs>